Hello and welcome back to our ES6 introduction on free code camp. This is use getters and setters to control access to an object. You can obtain values from an object and set the value of a property within an object. These are classically called getters and setters. Getter functions are meant to simply return or get the value of an object's private variable to the user without the user directly accessing the private variable. Setter functions are meant to modify or set the value of an object's private variable based on the value passed into the setter function. This change could involve calculations or even overriding the previous value completely. Here are example, we have a class called book and it has this constructor um, which takes in the author. So whenever anyone calls uh, the new book constructor, it's going to take an author and it's going to have a key called author and it will be assigned the value of whatever was passed in. If people want to get the value uh, from book, they could do, uh, we'll have a getter called writer which is going to return that author that was passed in. The setter will set writer so this would allow someone to pass in an updated author and it would uh, change the original value to the passed in value. And you might wonder why even separate and have two different functions as well at least that's what I originally thought and so what if you only want people to be able to get the value and not change it so you would only really want a getter and also not allowing direct access to the private variable is another reason that we would want to use getters and setters our example has const lol this is a new book and it gets passed in anonymous so it would create a book called lol and it gets passed in anonymous so the key author would be assigned anonymous here we then grab lol writer so we're getting writer and we're assigning to it what So we're setting LOL writer to have what? Here we're getting in this console log, right? We're just getting the value of writer, which is anonymous. But here we're setting uh, the value of writer to be what? And then if we console log writer now in this instance, it would say what? So notice the syntax used to invoke the getter and setter. They do not even look like functions. Getters and setters are important because they hide internal implementation detail. No, it is convention to perceive the name of a private variable with an underscore. However, this the practice itself does not make the variable private. So that's just telling us that the underscore is used so that people know it's a private variable. It doesn't actually make your variable private, but it's just common uh, practice. So use the class keyword to create a thermostat class. The constructor accepts Fahrenheit temperature. Now create a getter and setter in the class to obtain the temperature in Celsius. Remember that Celsius is this formula and Fahrenheit is this formula where F is the value of temperature in Fahrenheit and C is the value of the same temperature in Celsius. Note when you implement this you will track the temperature inside the class in one scale either Fahrenheit or Celsius. That is the power of a getter and setter. You are creating an API for another user who can get the correct result regardless of which one you track. In other words, you're abstracting implementation detail from the user. So here, we're going to do similar to what they did here, but it's thermostat. So class is thermostat. Within there, we have our constructor, but ours will be, like it says here, Fahrenheit. So constructor bear in height within there this dot Fahrenheit should be assigned whatever was passed into Fahrenheit then we're gonna have our git and we're getting temperature and temperature will return in Celsius 
uh, whatever was passed in as Fahrenheit, right? So return, let's look at their formula here. We want Celsius, so 5 divided by 9. And then multiply that by the Fahrenheit, or this Fahrenheit. Subtract that by 32. That's our getter right there. Then our setter, so set temperature. And this, let's see, temperature. This is going to um, take Celsius. Right. So whenever they're setting temperature, that should update this Fahrenheit. And we're going to convert that Celsius that was passed in. We're going to convert it to Fahrenheit now. So that would be Celsius times 9. And divided by 5 plus 32, right? So, let's see. Here we have const thermos equals a new thermostat passed in 76. Let temp be assigned thermos.temperature. That should be 24.4 because, let's try real quick, console.log. And we're doing temp and we do get that 24.4 and that's because it's just getting the value of temperature so it's getting 76 and doing this here to it which would give us a 24.44 which we're getting down here uh, here we're assigning thermos dot temperature 26, right? So that gets passed in here and it gets converted to Fahrenheit. But so if we console dot log temp here, we should get the 26, which we did. And I think that should be it for this one. Let's see. And we did pass. So the important thing that we learned here is getters and setters. Um, how the, the most important thing that I would say is Understanding that you create a class, you have your constructor part of it, so whenever the new keyword is called, it would be new thermostat, and then you could pass uh, values in there to, uh, to make your object. And then you have your git, uh, which would allow you to get values from within your constructor. And you'd also be able to use set to set or update values um, within your object. Uh, as long as you're understanding that, you guys are getting these lessons, I would just practice creating like different objects. That's kind of how I learned. And just playing around with um, creating objects and set getting and setting values. Uh, practice that and I'll see you in the next video.